Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create uh, pinwheels using the We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel punch board. Um, so you're going to create pinwheels that look just like this. Now this is with a single sided paper. So uh, this is just, I just did this with a single brad. So if you wanted to do it more like decor, um, or if you have this, you could always stick it on, um, on just like a regular, uh, so like these right here, like the regular straws that you can get. The Hobby Lobby like this, and I believe it's like $2.99, so you could always just stick it on here if you were doing it more for like decoration, so you could do something like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could get the pinwheel attachments. These were on the clearance for $1.25 at um, Hobby Lobby, but you can still purchase these from, like I said, my previous video, like um, I believe Amazon or Michaels or something like that. I'll have some links down below that way in case you guys are looking. Um, now, if you guys got these from the clearance, then this is how you're going to use this. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are scrap pieces that are from the party hats that I did the other day. So, if you've seen that video yesterday, you would see that I had the leftover paper. So, I decided to cut these down. So, I just took the paper was like this, and I just cut it down and made these 5x5 five five, um, just to be able to utilize the scraps on these. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the, I'm gonna alternate these two together. You could do one at a time or you could do two together. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we got the five by five, we got it cut down. So what you're gonna do is, the very first thing that you're gonna do is I flip this open here, all right? So then we're gonna come over here to this punch board that's right here. And you're just going to take and go all the way to the corner here and punch, all right? And then you're gonna turn it, punch, punch and punch all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this one so you come over to the corner punch punch and you're just gonna make sure you have them lined up really good all right so just like that so it's very first step now you're just gonna figure out which paper is gonna be on this side so just alternating I don't think it really matters so let's start with this one so you're gonna come down here and you're gonna kind of find where it is the five inch mark. So what you're gonna do is you're going to set this in the guides just like this. So you're just making sure you're lining this up right here where these holes are, all right? So then you're gonna come down with your, let me make sure that's lined up really good. All right, you're gonna come down and it's going to punch right there in the center. Let me zoom you back out. All right, so it's going to punch right here in the center. So you can see that little piece right there, all right? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, which this piece just sits right here, so you're gonna take your blade. You're gonna take this little piece right here and it's gonna set down in the groove and then your blade's gonna cut. All right, so you're going to, I'm just gonna kinda hold on to this piece right here. Hold on to my paper. You're gonna set that down in the groove and you're just gonna trim all the way down. It'll stop you. So you're just gonna cut towards the center, all right? So then I kinda pick that up then you're going to rotate it. You just keep it where it's setting. You're gonna rotate. And now you notice that it's not lined up anymore, but that's all right. So you're just gonna make sure and get it right there where you have that little, right there where you have this little groove opening is gonna line up to the groove opening on this one. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back in and just cut right to the center. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for the next one. Now this one will line up. So we're gonna do the same thing and just trim all the way to the center. All right, then we're going to rotate it one more time and this one's not, we're just gonna make sure it's right there towards, we're just gonna make sure it's lining up and then we're gonna do it just like that, all right? So now this one's ready to go. We're gonna pick this guy up. All right, so you see where it punched a little hole right there in the middle for us? Okay, so we're gonna set this one aside. So now if you're gonna do a double one, so you could, you could set here and just go ahead and have it just like this just with the one, let me kind of show you really quick. So you just kind of fold them over, just wherever the holes are, that one comes and folds over. So you're just gonna go all the way around, just like that. All right, so you can either leave it just like, so you can either leave it just like this with the one pieces or you could double it up. So I'm gonna kind of show you that way real quick. All right, so we're gonna open this back up. Now we're gonna work on this side here. So we're gonna come down. The five inch mark now is further down this way. I'm hoping I can move this up a little bit where you guys can see. Let me zoom in. All right, so you won't be able to see it because it's red. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up, but now we're gonna come down to where the five inch mark is down here. And we're going to line this little guy up just like this on those marks. We're gonna drop it. It's gonna drop right in the center. All right. So we're gonna put this back on the little track here. 
And like I said, it'll stop you. You're gonna come right to the center, just like that. Then we're gonna keep it on here. We're gonna rotate, just making sure that's lining up to the center mark. Put it back on the track and come to the center. Pick that up. We're gonna rotate it again. Get it just like that. All right, one more time. Rotate it. All right, just like that. All right, so now we have our opposites. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, I kind of played with this a little bit because the directions was a little bit tricky. Setting them right on top of each other like this. So you have like this hole here, this hole on the top. That's what like the paperwork shows here. Just like that. All right, so I did that. And then the next thing you do, from what it seems like to me, you would basically bring like this piece in just like this. All right, so then like this piece would come back behind this piece. So it's kind of confusing, that's why I wanted to share this. Okay, so then you're going to, this piece is gonna go back behind this piece, and then this piece back behind this piece, and I think that is all of them. Okay, so then now it's gonna look just like this, okay? So let's go ahead and get our, we're gonna use the gray ones for this one. So let's see what it comes with. These are called attachments, so let's open it up here. All right, so we're gonna need one stick, so we've got that, and then inside here, it comes with these little pieces here. So we're going to need one of these pieces, and so we're gonna need one of these, one of these, and one of these. So you're gonna need all these three pieces out of the bag and your little stick. So you're gonna take your straw just like that, and this piece right here is going to pop onto the straw just like this, okay? So you're gonna have this piece poking out. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're going to poke this through the back of your pinwheel here, this little hole here. So you're gonna take and pop that right through them two holes right there, just like that, all right? So then, and you don't wanna push it all the way through so you can see where it kinda of gives you a stopping point. You're gonna come just like that. All right, so then the next thing that we're going to do, and I may have pop popped these in here backwards because we need to be able to pull these over. All right, let me do that again. Okay, so I did this backwards. So what we need to do is we need this piece on top. There we go. Okay. So this is the direction, so hopefully you guys can see this. You guys kind of seen how I put that together really quick, so I put it together wrong there. All right, so you want these, because then you're gonna have like this piece come down, this piece come down, and it's gonna keep going all the way around. All right, so here we go again. We're gonna take our straw, and you're gonna pop it right through the back here, just like that. So once you have it like this, then you want this piece to go on there, just like this. So this round piece like this is gonna go down just like that, all right? So, you may wanna kinda of bring it just a little bit to where it'll slide a little bit easier like this, so you can now see that spin in action. So you're gonna pop them on one at a time, just like this. Going all the way around, just popping each one down. And like I said, you can tell if you have them lined up right because it's, it's only gonna go one way here. So this guy needs to come back behind this one. So just like that. All right, so then the last piece, you're gonna take this little guy right here, this tiny little piece, and it's gonna pop right over the top, just like this. All right, so just like that. And then you can kind of mess with this a little bit, kind of scooting these forward, and just kind of adjusting everybody, and then let me see, let me scoot that down just a little bit. And see, you can see that's, that's starting to spin there a little bit. But you could always come back here and make a little bit of adjustments as you go to make it have a better spin. Look at how cute that is. So that's gonna go with the mini Mickey Mouse theme. So there's that, so let's do it one more time so that way I can show you guys um, a better view of that. So let me zoom you out a little bit and see if you guys can't see here. So look how cute that'll be with the party hats to match like that. And these were the scraps from the hat. So this was two of those from that hat. So each hat is going to make, well, two hats, I guess. Two hats will make a pinwheel. And like I said, these are the five by five in case you're wondering. I cut these down to five by five, which makes a six 
six by six uh, pinwheel. So two hats, the scraps make this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it one more time. So I've got my two pieces of, of my scrap papers that came from these two hats here. So like I said, two hats makes one pinwheel. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I've got them cut down to five by five. I'm gonna take them in here and then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do the switch sides which. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one first. So once, you, once again, the very first thing we're gonna do is lift this up. I'm gonna bring it up here to my chomper and you just wanna make sure they're lined up in the corner really well and push down. And you do that to all four sides. All right, so there is that one. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna start with this side first. So once again, like I said, you wanna to come to where it says the five by five, well, five, because that's where we're at. You're just gonna line these little guys up really nicely. And then you're gonna bring this down and that's gonna punch a hole right in the middle there. So I'm just making sure that's lined up really well. Push down. All right, we're gonna take our little blade again. We're gonna pop it right down in there. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can kind of see what's going on. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and take this and making sure it's lined up really good. Scoot it all the way down to the end. Keep it in there, we're gonna rotate. And like I said, it's not gonna line up anymore. We're just gonna pop it right there to make sure it's right there lined up in the groove. So we're gonna do the next one. And this last one, all right. So we're gonna pop that guy out. So that's what it looks like, just like that. And there's a hole right there in the center. All right, now we're gonna move over to this side. So we're gonna do what they consider B, pinwheel B. So we're gonna come down to here to the five inch. So I'm making sure you guys can see all this. So I'm gonna line it up again, just like that. All right, oh, I was on the six inch. That could have been bad. All right, so we're gonna come down. I'm gonna push right there on the center. We're going to get that in the track, come down to the center. Then we're gonna go ahead and rotate. Like I said, it's not gonna line up. I'm just making sure right here is lined up. Get this in the track, come down. All right, we're gonna get in the track, come down. And then we got one more. So get that in the track, come down. All right, so we're gonna pick that up and you can see we've got a hole in the center. We're ready to go. So I'm gonna scoot this guy out of the way. Now we got these two pieces. Already got my, um, my stick ready and my pinwheel pieces. So we've got this piece, the little cap, and this piece. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. You're gonna take your straw, you're gonna take this piece. So it's gonna look like a little spritzer bottle. Pop that all the way down. So we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna, I'll probably do this wrong again, but it's all right. So let me zoom y'all out just a hair. All right. So we're gonna pop that guy right underneath there. So you need these two, you wanna make sure your circles are gonna be on top, all right? So then see that's got that. This one needs to be slid under here. And then this one here. So everybody's on top just like that. All right, so this is gonna go right through this hole here. All right, just like that. And then this piece with the round is gonna go down on top just like this, all right? So, and you don't wanna do it too tight or it can't really spin. So just kinda get that just like that, all right? So we've got our pin wheel going. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our pieces, so we're gonna pop it down just like that and come all the way around, just popping these little guys down, just like this. Now, I could have done these either way, so I could have made it where my pin pieces here were the white, because like I said, this is not the double-sided, but we're gonna try it like this first and see what we think. So just like that. I think I'm happy with that. All right, and then you can sit here and kind of fiddle with it just a, a little bit, kind of get these popped out. All right, so then you're gonna take your little cap piece and you're gonna pop it right here on the end, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna kind of take these and kind of pull them back out a little bit. There we go, and there we go. So I'll probably wanna fiddle with that just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of wiggle room back here. So there it is, look how cute that is. And like I said, this is the single sided paper, but I think it still looks adorable. So that would go with like this party theme right here. So I think that's so cute. I absolutely love these little camper trailers. I think they're so cute. So two hats makes one pinwheel. And uh, let me zoom y'all out a little bit so you guys can see. So here's this one right here, super cute little set. And then you also have 
this little set right here. I love the Minnie and Mickey Mouse set. That's really cute. And you can't find this stuff. I mean, you would have to either have somebody, you know, make it for you on Etsy, and that's expensive. Or you could even make these and sell them on Etsy. They would be so adorable. So, because you could always stack your little hats and be able to ship them out. But, um, so I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope it helped you guys kind of know how to work that a little bit. I know I'm still confusing, but um, I want to show my mistakes so you can kind of see how easy it is to just kind of mess with it and kind of figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.